Hello everybody and welcome back to Spirit Fair. So today I think we're just gonna try and follow Lily's quest and see what she's got for us to do while we also try and finish Elena's quest. turtles to our advantage. So I think limestone gave us amethyst and that's the one we really need. Along with the one... does quartz give us anything? I don't know. Maybe we need to go fight a quartz dragon real quick. I'm all done. Oh! That's how we start it! Oh! scares me when she disappears like that. Oh no. That's one mighty foundry. When they built it, they were surely thinking outside the box tea. I don't know how to pronounce that. You need to f make your jokes more modern. Okay, first, boom, and last but not least, boom. Botastic. Is this thing fully upgraded? I think we have everything. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the cat just T-posed over here. Hemamite from that. Is this quartz? Oh, it is. Oh, no, that's marble. Okay. In this one, we'll put quartz because we need citrine. And then in the, the third sister, we will put uh, aluminum. Cause we can get coal anywhere, but aluminum is another dragon thing. This one, we will put aluminum. Sure makes you look well-traveled, sis. 
Listen up, because I'm going to read your embarrassing postcard. Ah, ah, let me find my famous Stella voice. One second. Dear Mom, Dad, and Lily, my trip has been amazing so far. I'm even making friends. What a boring thing to say. At this rate, the summer vacation will be gone in a flash. Last weekend, I went to Shirakawa-go in the Toyama Prefecture. Took a tour to visit these beautiful rice paddies. It was an impressive sight. Next to these incredible houses at the bottom of the mountains. It was especially beautiful at night with the glow of the moon. I met a man on tour, but not like that, Mom. Oh, Stella, you perv. He's an art curator from Germany. Oh, Gustav! He's creating an art exhibition in Nagasaki. The tour was in Japanese, so he helped me with some of the nuances. He gave me his address and invited me to his show. I miss you all. I can't wait for you to visit me in a few months. Stella. P.S. Stay out of my room, Lily. <laughs> I didn't! Wow. You were so outgoing. I don't remember ever being like that. So full of life. I was always a bit... dramatic, let's say. I wonder if you went to see Gustav's exhi exhibition. That was his name, right? We never got to go on that trip to see you. Dad got sick around that time. He had trouble walking. His body was swelling and everything hurt him. I never understood why they kept it from you. They probably knew you'd come back as soon as they told you. To take care of him. I got to see Dad get sicker and sicker. I wasn't able to do anything to help. I still remember your face when you got home. For a second it was like you didn't recognize him. Let's keep going. It's not like you've ever shied away from death. You're basically made it your whole world. I'm sure you've got some pictures when you move to Montreal. Let's take a look. Oh, Stella, you're a sweetheart. They didn't tell her her dad was sick because they knew she would, like, drop everything to run home. They were worried that she'd, like, give up her life. Oh. Okay, wait, how much do we have? Four. So we'll need three more. Five, six. I put two on the other one. So one here. And then Hemamite. What did we get Hemamite from? I don't remember, but I do know. I do know we need diamonds, so let's put some coal in here. All done. I'm here to mine. Oh, okay, this is Hemamite. I can't believe I forgot already. Alright, five. And then I put one on the other one. So we'll do one more here. And some. What did limestone. Limestone did. Yeah, so let's do some quartz. Uh, I think? Yeah. Oh! Oh yeah, it's not nighttime yet. Alright, I guess we'll just rob people. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in a summer job of sorts? Hear me out. For this business to thrive, we need more lemons. The demand in the city is just too high. There's this delivery man in South Point Docks. He's got my shipment of lemons. So fresh! You can hear the freshness from here. Problem is, the shipment has been stopped by customs. If you could go out there and take them for me, well, you'd be a lifesaver. Literally. Hurry, we need to meet this demand. I just love lemons so much. Oh. A hundred lemons! Oh. That's your first Montreal apartment, isn't it? 
when you moved out of the house to the big city. My big sister striking out on her own. Yeah, that place was such a dump. Sorry, sis. It was. You could decorate it all you wanted. It would always smell what it, like whatever your neighbors were cooking. You could hear them yelling at each other. Your rent was probably so cheap. Plus, you were all alone. No roommates. Well, not quite alone. With Daffodil. <gasps> the kitty! Speaking of which, I'm still mad at you for taking the family cat. I don't remember us talking that much during that time. You were busy with work. I was still in high school, not paying much attention. I don't think we had much in common. Except death, maybe. For me, after Dad, I had to do something about it. I was trying to shut it out, but it kept coming anyways. I don't know how you can deal with it constantly. Working at the hospital with people at the end of their lives. All around you, all the time. Helping those people who are suffering in front of your eyes. There was Summer. Oh, Summer. She did not go quick. That cancer stayed inside her and took its time. It even gave her some hope. But it came back her harsher. Mom was devastated. It was probably for the best that Rose wasn't around to see it. Rose was so kind-spirited and fragile. Losing her dear Summer would have broken her heart. I remember going to Summer's house with Mom, with all those plants and that heat. It was like a sauna. She said something about the body being like all living things, especially plants. I just remember being mad and sweating a lot. Then, there were the friends you made along the way. That Giovanni and his wife Astrid. To hear you talk about them, they were basically your adoptive grandparents. And the stories that would come out of their mouths. That cheating, the lies, the heartbreak. Oh, their flowers are in there! All those headaches. Can you imagine what Giovanni put Astrid through? But she was right at his side at the end. Even if she had moved on. Even if she had found someone else. He was her one and only Gio. Forever. They both knew that they only had each other in the end. That's how I want to go out, sis. Holding the hand of the one I adore. I think I need a refill. Maybe stretch my legs a bit. I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. I don't think I can. Six of that, so we almost have everything. So let's put some aluminum, some more quartz, and what the hell? We'll put we'll put some limestone. Why not? Even though I think once we go to the other two, we should have enough, and then we finish that part of Elena's challenges. Are you the shipment guy? Mm. You there? You're here for the lemons? Oh, good. Listen. Be cool and don't worry about it. Just take these lemons and get out of here. I don't want them in my life. I don't need the trouble. Okay then. Oh, we have enough. Nice. We'll plant some oak logs here, now that we have everything we need. I have your lemons. Oh, oh I'm not talking to you. Oh. Lemons, this is amazing! You really pulled through! I was worried for a second there. I had some pretty bad people breathing down my neck. For lemons. I know, right? Mm -hmm. People are hyped up on these damn lemons. Anyway, you did good. Thank you for the lemons, and here's a little something for your troubles. Dang, that was worth it. <laughs> there it is. Hey, I'm back. 
I'm sad to report that there were no cute doctors wandering the halls. Look at you. You look so frail. But even on your hospital bed, you're still gorgeous. Well, this whiskey bottle is half empty. Let's just go ahead and say you drank the rest. Do you remember that phone call you gave me last year? You had taken a sabbatical from work. I had to call the center to learn about it. Yeah, she took a few months off. She got some bad news. What a weird way to learn your sister isn't doing well. So, you call me two weeks or you call me two weeks or something after. It's maybe two in the morning here. Your voice was shaking. I could hear you breathing heavily. You start talking about the trees around you and the air. No, hi Lily. No, I'm not doing well. Nothing, just talking about the trees in the air. You said it was cold. That, it felt like death, even over here. I didn't even know where here was. It went silent and then you said you'd be home in a few days. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you sleepwalking? What was that, was that whole thing just a dream? I was scared. You came back and told me, mom and me, your diagnosis. And now we're here, together. Mom is awake, and I'm awake, and I'm holding your hand. If you can hear me, I love you so much, sis. You're not alone in the woods anymore. We're here, Stella. You'll never be alone. You'll n you've never been alone. Uh oh. Oh, it's back. I don't want to take her to the Everdoor. We're not done yet. <laughs> We just need to improve our stations. I, uh, I think we'll do that and maybe go through the Everdoor ourselves next time. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and have a good day.